months of May and June are very exciting around here. In early May, the pregnant doe's tummies get pretty big. By mid-May, the first new fawns are born, but some have them as late as the first week of June. Maggie, Sweetie, and Zoe all look like they could have twins. Peyton and the others were a bit smaller, but we'll see who has what. It's become a mystery to me why they have kept their fawns very hidden this year. They must have the reasons, so I'll just remain patient until they feel comfortable enough to bring them up to meet me. Maggie, Peyton, and Zoe had their fawns the third week of May. Peyton went missing for 10 days after she gave birth, but finally showed back up. I had to walk down the road to find Zoe after she had hers. I discovered that while the moms are pregnant, they're more nervous around me. But once they have the new fawns, they come right back up close to be petted or brushed. until June that I started to see some of the moms with their new babies. Some would come into the yard with a group of does. Zoe and her new twin showed up at the neighbors to play in the water. I did see Peyton with a fawn heading into the side field, Thanks, so Zoe. she could always have another one parked too. Zoe was the first to bring hers up while she had a snack. The little ones were nervous around me, and it'll take some time to get comfortable coming up to meet me. Maggie's twins from last year, Maverick and Mitzi, are still allowed to hang around with her, even though she has at least one or two new fawns now. Maverick is getting big fast, and he's become very trusting of me. He reminds me a lot of Maggie's three-year-old, Roman. I still haven't seen since March. Maverick's little buttons have grown into antlers quickly, and I thought it'd be cool to show how fast they grow over the last eight weeks.
Maybe this one. There you go. 